Let's anticipate this. We have a tier list of every perk in the game because we need to know the best perks. People need the answers. People need guidance. First off, we need to start off with like, what is the bottom tier? As you all know how the tier list works, we always have D rank and then we have C, B, A and S. I feel like it'd be easier if we start off with the bottom tier and then we work our way up. And also, by the way, um, this is for 1v1 single, so not doubles perks. Troll tactics. Yeah, let's get that out the way. It's D tier. It does absolutely nothing. It is funny. It is funny, but we're just talking about from just complete like hey like what does this do it's just not good although if you want to like bm people by far it's like s tier like easy s tier uh they do have some perks that kind of don't really do anything one of them being actually the uh the armor killer i don't think it's that good and i say that because a lot of times if a person has armor why would you want to trade into them because if you trade into them you're probably gonna lose that trade I would say probably bottom of C tier, honestly. I don't think that's too outrageous chat, is it? Next up, second wind beneath your wings, which is this one. That gives you all your options back, like in the air after you kill people. I don't, like, yeah, that's, that's, that's good in a sense, but I just don't think that warrants, say, literally anything else here. <laughs> like, by the time you kill them, you're gonna, just get back to stage anyway. This is only effective for if you kill them. And if you're, say, struggling in the match, you're pretty much missing a perk. I just don't see where this would be used. Actually, I'd argue this is behind this. What is this one? Your team applies a stack of weakened when knocking back enemies above 125. Mm, I actually don't think that that's good either because chances are they're not even gonna get to 125 damage anyway because you're gonna kill them before that, ideally. Like, the longer you have them alive is the worse it is for you. And the fact that this perk takes stock, or like, the fact that the perk would activate after they get to 125, that's kind of crazy. Probably behind the uh, the armor killer. And low-key, like, there's just not a lot of perks here in the game anyway, so we're just gonna have to work with what we got. They took out so many perks. If you guys didn't, playing the beta, they had so many perks that you could choose from and they just have nothing anymore. It's it's insane. It's actual insanity. I'd honestly say that that makes up the the uh, the C tier because every perk does something at least like every perk does something. Chat, uh, where do we feel like this one goes? Clear the air. If you parry a projectile, the projectile gets reflected because I, I just don't see a universe where you would want to parry a projectile rather than dodging. I never take this one off. Oh, really? Really? You never take off this one? Explain. Actually, I need to know why. Explain, please. Because I've used it maybe once or twice and parrying projectiles on latency, it doesn't feel good. I'd much rather dodge it. <laughs> it's giving C tier for now. Next up, uh, what does this one do? Your team receives armor for two seconds after respawn. That's, that's pretty good. Oh, no, I don't take it either. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I see. I thought you were, um, I thought you were talking about that. For this one, I'm gonna leave this in B tier. B tier is the perks that, like, you wouldn't mind having on. It's not the worst. It's not the best either, but it has some functionality, probably from time to time, and it's not active, the, like, the whole way throughout the game. Parry projectile is weird. I don't think it, it can parry a projectile. Yeah, like, each time I use it, it just doesn't work, so... I might even put it in the C tier, honestly. Like specifically for, for um, playing against 1v1s. Your team gains armor for one second after parrying a projectile. I think that's the same tier, but low key, I think I would want armor compared to parrying the projectile. Because if you think about it, right? If you parry Marvin's small pellet, that doesn't really give you much value, but if you parry it and you get armor, now you can push him. I think that's like just a bit better, but it's 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 not it's not by much. It's not by much, low key. It's not by much. <clears throat> Your team receives a 15% damage boost for 10 seconds after an ally is rung out. Oh, I didn't even see that uh, for ones. Actually, yeah, that's worse. That's actually worse than troll tactics. At least troll tactics, you can see it. You have no ally in one v one. I don't even think this works in one v ones. Complete oversight. Yeah, collateral damage. Mmm, this one's kind of rough because I actually used to run this one so much back in beta with Shaggy. This used to go crazy. It's very character specific, but 
if you can play a character that can just juggle you off the floor and just bounce you just like up and down like a ball, this adds up damage really quickly because you're doubling your damage every time you land on the ground. So because it's character specific, but when it works, it works really well. I'm going to put it mm, low A, high B. I haven't seen much juggle combos off the ground. So for that, I'm going to put it in B for now and I'll see if that changed. Airwalker. Mm. Bros, I made a video on this. I made a video on Airwalker because I love this perk so much. And as much as I love it, it high key might just be a B tier. It's just so character specific, but the characters it works on is so well. I'll probably have a clip of that playing on screen now. This will turn into a video, which by the way, guys in chat, say hi, because this is going to be in a YouTube video and you guys will be in the YouTube video. <laughs> yeah, it's so character specific, but when it works, it's, it works really well. So I'm just gonna put it at like top of B because it's like a really good niche. Uh, Snowball, I have to say that that's A. It's it's free damage. Low key, actually, I would say that's S. It's free damage, you're fighting against one person. Who else is there? You will get the percent boost no matter what because that's against the enemy with the highest damage. So the moment you hit him, he's taking more damage than he normally would by 7%. What is this perk? Protective moment, oh, pr yeah. Protective momentum, another S tier. And I say that like, a lot of characters who spam projectiles, if you run in a straight line, the fact that you can just block it for free is is really good. So bugs, wait, actually, actually, yeah, bugs, gizmo, this works really well on gizmo. Not that it completely shuts down his character, but it definitely makes it harder for him to just approach and get in. He's going to try to shoot marshmallows at you and he's just going to suffer. It's great. That's flammable. Your team can melee an enemy after hitting them with a projectile to ignite them. And as we all know, when they get ignited, they take more damage. Another S tier. Another S tier. And I would say that's a buff projectile with a uh, flammable. Free damage. And I would say like all the damage perks, if you're choosing one, you should be doing well. Uh, oh, this one. Mm. This one is so good, but it, it really depends on the character. If you're playing, say, against Shaggy, he can literally explode you and you probably will die before you get to 100. So until you get to 100, this perk is not gonna activate. But the fact that it puts weakened stacks on you is crazy. Anyone gets weakened stacks. And because of that, I'm gonna put it in A tier because it's not exactly like the best perk for every character like these three are. Well, actually, mm, not even this one, but it gives you value. Yeah, actually, yeah, this one gives you more value for people who use projectiles. So yeah, that's why that's S, I would say. But for people who kill you early, this doesn't really apply. But when they don't kill you early and they struggle like Marvin, you have seen many clips of me just struggling to kill. <laughs> um, How did you do in Rise of a Multiverse? Oh, bro, I saw it today and like I wasn't able to play because I had another thing to do. Like I had to leave my house. I know I had to touch grass. And because of that, I couldn't play the tournament. I would have did well though. I would have did well. Speed force assist. Your team, in yeah, uh, this 5% increased speed. Yep, I'd also say that that's A. Free speed buff is really good. Uh, you really can't go wrong with speed. It's either that or last stand. And if your character that you're fighting against can kill you early, I would honestly say just swap to that. What's this grass you speak of? It's a newly found uh, material in the world. It's, it's, it's not that common yet, but I got to like interact with it. It was actually pretty cool. Dash attack. Your dash attacks break armor. I would say that that is B tier, like high B tier. For people like Superman and Wonder Woman who have insane armor, you can break it with a really quick dash attack. And if you're using a character that has a really good dash attack too, like <laughs> this is gonna give you a lot of mileage, but not a lot of characters have armor. Like I don't even think Marvin has any armor or Tom and Jerry, Bugs Bunny doesn't have it, and he's a top character, so it, it doesn't work on everyone, but yeah. All right, last three, folks. Static electricity. After moving on the ground for four seconds, your next projectile applies shock to enemies, and shock will actually do damage over time. Uh, that I'm also gonna put an S. I would say right behind, that's flammable. Because you have to be on the ground for four seconds before this activates, uh, sometimes you need to jump. This is active every time, this one isn't, but I would say these two are pretty tied. Four seconds in any fighting game is like doing a plank for one minute. That's so true. <laughs> you got no time to do that. That lasts forever, literally. That four seconds, you could probably die in four seconds. Like it's the, it's that crazy if you stop moving. Pugilist. I said Pugilist in my video and I got cooked. <laughs> that was not how you pronounce that word. Pugilist, I actually feel like that's, that's another S tier. It increases all melee attack damage. 
like for free. And because everyone has a melee attack, everyone gets a buff from this perk. You would literally not go wrong at all using this perk. You will get a buff to your damage no matter who you play. And because of that, I'm gonna put that here. And finally, armor crush. Your fully charged attacks break armor. Chat, where do we feel like re rank this? This is the last perk. I'm not gonna say my personal um, opinions yet until you guys, uh, I just wanna see like, like the general consensus on it. High B, very situational. True, but like, when would you ever get a fully charged attack without like being interrupted? Because like, I'm thinking about, say for example, like, uh, what? Like, Wonder Woman? She could probably just rush you. And like, I'm thinking if I'm playing Shaggy and I do fully charge attack and I launch it, I think she has a move where she breaks armor. Actually, no, uh, but like then again, I think you could trade at that point. Oh yeah, Shaggy side B, yeah, fair, yeah. I would say above Airwalker. Wait, no, I would say below Airwalker, above collateral damage. Oh, you're right. Wait, I thought this was charge attacks like on the ground. Wait, you're right, yeah. Shaggy Cider would break armor. Hmm, wait, this becomes way better then. You're right, wait, you're, you're so right, wait, you're so right. I'm completely forgetting the fact that that applies to all charge attacks, not just like grounded ones. I was just like thinking Shaggy's smash attack, but no, yeah, yeah, you're right. Supply I would say A then. Low key, I would say A because like Bugs Bunny's forward air, that would just break armor. And let's see, is there anything else to clean up in the tier list? So chat, this is the full perk tier list. Guys, if you need any perk off this tier list, look at S. You will be fine with just S. Every one of these is in different categories, so you can honestly run all of these like in one set. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be the full video. Subscribe if you're new. Take care, be good, love and light.